everybody, it's Dr. Tim Harrigan and I have my good friend Kirsten with me today and we are going to do a pudding demo. And people are like, what the heck is a pudding demo? Well, it's a demonstration basically of one of the most important things that we recommend to our patients. It's one of the most important things that we take in our lives as far as supplements go. It's a very specialized category of enzymes called food enzymes. So Kirsten, why are those important in our bodies? Enzymes help break down food that processed food or even raw foods that we eat. But we're born with a bank account, so we don't want to use up that bank account. And how we do that is by you know, taking medication, eating processed food. So that puts a lot of stress on our body. So we need some assistance with that by taking whole food plant-based enzymes to help break that food down. Absolutely, and let's talk about the difference and the different types of enzymes because this is a very confusing topic for many people. A lot of people, when they get a digestive issue, they go and they get a digestive enzyme, right? Well, let's talk about the three different types of enzymes. This is so important. This is one of the most important things you can learn with nutrition. Um, so pay attention here. Metabolic enzymes, that first category of enzymes, literally run my whole body. They are literally running my uh, uh, oxygenation right now, my respiratory things that are happening, my heart rate, everything in your body is run by metabolic enzymes, okay? That's how we're functioning. So imagine if those went away tomorrow, you would literally drop dead. They literally run the body. Think of them as kind of like the catalysts to the chemical reactions in the body, okay? So the next category is digestive enzymes. This is what most people don't understand. Rarely you want to ever supplement with something that your body produces. For example, if I give you testosterone, you may feel really good and have more energy and sleep better. However, your brain tells your organs that produce testosterone to shut down, to stop producing testosterone or you're gonna have too much, right? So you're gonna feel good if I give you that testosterone. However, those organs literally shut down and get less useful the longer you're on that testosterone those organs kind of go away. It's use it or lose it, right? If you exercise for a long time and gain muscle, that's great. However, if you stop exercising, use it or lose it, what happens? You lose the muscle. So you rarely want to supplement with things that your body produces. That's what most people are doing. They're, they're supplementing with digestive enzymes. Well, that's kind of nasty when you understand where those come from. They literally come from animal parts. Uh, you know, from animal pancreas and all these other things. Well, what did I just say? We don't want to supplement with something my body produces. So a lot of people take like hydrochloric acid. My stomach produces that. I'll shut down my own production of that if I take that. So there's a big confusion because if you start taking a digestive enzyme, the wrong type, you'll actually feel better. You actually will have less digestion, less you know issues, less bloating and those types of things. However, you don't wanna supplement with that type of enzyme. So this special category of enzymes is called food enzymes. This is the essential enzymes. Your body produces metabolic enzymes and it produces digestive enzymes. The goal is to take stress off those two systems by providing the body food enzymes. That's the key. So even though this is called digestive blend, it's not a digestive enzyme. There's a big confusion there. Food enzymes come literally from raw foods. So unless you eat 100% raw your whole life, you have a bank account that gets depleted or you add more money to that bank account by providing enzymes to the body. So that's essentially what this does. Whenever I eat cooked and processed food, whether it's Kirsten's family, my family, we've used this formula for over 10 years with people. Uh, whenever we eat cooked, processed, even healthy cooked and processed foods, you need to take a food enzyme to take the stress off your metabolic enzymes and digestive enzymes. If I have to constantly create the building blocks to digest my cooked and processed food, that bank account runs out. So what does that cause? That causes maybe high proteins in my blood, high sugars in my blood, high fats in my blood. Now let's go into those categories. Sugars, well, why do I have blood sugar problems in my body? You literally just come to the point where you can't break down and process sugar anymore. Eventually you just stop being able to do that. And so over time, my blood sugars start to go up. So if I can provide my body something that breaks down those sugars naturally, that's awesome, right? So think of what proteins are in the body. Uric acid is a protein. So if I have blood uric acids going up, proteins going up, well, what if I take something that breaks down those extra proteins, right? So what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fat. Well, if I have enzymes that break down fats, maybe my cholesterol won't go up, right? So it's just common sense. We have to absorb and assimilate these healthy foods we're eating on a daily basis, or it puts a lot of stress on your body, which we'll show you now. So this pudding demo, uh, Kirsten, we're gonna basically show you with a pudding pack. Now, the goal is not to get you eating pudding, okay? This is just a demonstration. The pudding kind of represents, uh, basically, it could be a Thanksgiving dinner, could be steak and potatoes, could be you know, a salad with cooked grilled chicken on it that you have tonight. Um, so that's what that represents. Just look at it as a food that has protein, sugars, and fats.
So essentially what we're doing is we're gonna take this cooked processed food, it's actually ultra processed, and we're gonna add a food, specialized food enzyme to it. And you can see, I mean, it's kind of disgusting when you think about this. These, these are delicious, we all love the taste of these. However, they are literally poison to the body. Your body doesn't know how to break it down when you're lacking enzymes, which is most people. Think of what digestive problems people have, Kirsten. It's, you know, everybody has bloating after they eat, everybody gets tired after they eat. Those are all signs of deficiencies of food enzymes. Uh, you know, people get heartburn, people get, you know, all these different digestive diseases, right? If we can take that stress off the body by providing something natural that doesn't take away from my body, but that adds to that bank account, it's pretty incredible. So you can see I've only been stirring for less than a minute. How many capsules did you put in there, I, by the way? I only put one capsule okay. in here. And again, her stirring motion represents that peristalsis, the mixing in my intestines and my stomach. So now it's become liquid. What so the heck just happened, right? Yeah, so it basically liquefied that pudding. You saw before I began, it was thick. If nothing was happening, couldn't dump it out. Now it's, it's liquid. So basically it helped break down the enzymes, the dead food or dead protein that was in that pudding cup. Yeah. And that's a great word is dead. So when we eat cooked and processed foods, it literally turns it into kind of a dead food. It's not adding to the body. It's now subtracting from my body. And who eats hundred percent raw their whole life? Nobody does. I don't even want to do that, honestly. So in our lives, you try to eat at least 50 to 80% raw. It's challenging to 100% raw though, right? We can't eat raw beef and raw chicken and things like that. But when we eat cooked and processed food, or even for a while, for a couple years, when we recommend this to somebody, we wanna build up their enzyme bank account. So we want them to take a lot of this to build up that food enzyme bank account, to take stress off the metabolic enzymes and digestive enzymes, because this is what sticks to our intestines, you guys. This, imagine eating this without enzymes. This is trying to get absorbed and assimilated into my body. First of all, you're not even breaking it down. It may cause bloating, may cause some diarrhea, may cause some constipation. Yeah. And so uh, we, we want to clarify with this. So maybe we shouldn't use chocolate pudding. It looks kind of gross, right? So be aware, it doesn't cause you to have diarrhea, by the way. This is just an example of breaking down and assimilating into our intestines, right? We know that those nutrients in our body, whether it's water, proteins, sugars, or fats, are absorbed into our intestines. Phytonutrients, vitamins, and minerals. It's pretty cool when you take these, we start to see all kinds of neat things happen. I've seen people's skin start to clear up. We've started to see people that get really bloated or tired after their Thanksgiving dinner start to have energy from their food again. So essentially what it's doing is it's unlocking the energy of that dead food. You're providing life to it again. It sounds cheesy, I realize, but these literally are alive. These raw, unprocessed, uncooked foods are adding enzymes to our body, which take pressure off the other enzymes again. But imagine if we leave this on a counter for two, three weeks, we all know it's gonna to start to turn brown. We know these you know, blueberries are gonna to start to turn soft and maybe moldy. That's literally the life force, so to speak, that's in this raw, uh, vet fruit or vegetable that came from nature that is nourishing to our body. But when we do this to it, even though these are fairly healthy foods, they're cooked and processed and they do take away from that bank account. So again, if I set this on the counter for a while, it's going to turn brown. It's going to start, you know, oozing out. And that's the life force that you want in your body because that helps us become more alive than dead. It's a simple, you know, mantra that we have. If you want to feel more alive than dead, eat more foods that are more alive than dead. Well, if you're eating cooked and processed foods, which we all do, take something that kind of brings that back to life that allows you to get the energy out of that food. Yeah, disease starts in the gut. So if we can eliminate any type of stress off the body, because there's a lot of stress that is put on our body when it has to break down that processed dead food. So by taking these enzymes, enzyme blend, there's different types of enzymes that are targeted at different food groups. So protein, carbohydrates, sugars. Well, That's and gluten is a protein, right? Yep. How many gluten sensitivities are there out there, right? So yeah. if we can get somebody digesting that protein better, what do you think is going to happen? Lactose. Lactose intolerance. What's the enzyme that breaks down lactose? Lactase, right? So this has lactase in it. So this is literally the most comprehensive, full spectrum food enzyme formula we have ever found. We use this daily with our patients in our own lives. Um, but also it has some prebiotics in it and also has some stabilized probiotics. Stabilized probiotics are very important. We all see the probiotics at the grocery stores and these health food stores, right? They have to be refrigerated. Those are unstable. How in the heck is it gonna make it to my gut through this harsh environment in my body? Usually only a small portion actually make it to the gut to do what they're supposed to do, right? To, to feed the other good germs in our gut. So this has stabilized ones, which are basically 
probiotics that are in a dormant state. So they kind of wake up once they get to where they need to be. So it's very powerful. By far the most comprehensive. I would have to pair up anywhere from five to six other products to do what this one really well done formula does. We've actually given these enzymes to nursing mothers and actually the baby will benefit from that. It's kind of cool. And so if I had to pick one thing in the world, if you're trying to get a little bit healthier, we all know exercise is great. We all know eating real food is great. If I had to pick one thing that's the most simple thing to do is take one to five of these before every single meal for a while, do it for 60 days. I guarantee you something's gonna happen. And don't be scared if your digestion gets a little bit worse at first, right? If you provide something good to the body, it has to go through some changes because you're so used to that old pattern and you, you know, the bad germs that are in your body, some of those have to come out a little bit, right? So incredible formula that we recommend to literally every human on earth. It's safe and effective for anybody.